Ukraine. Sure. Uh, on the eve of uh, the Minsk summit between President Putin and Poroshenko, led by the Germans and the French, do you, do you have a better uh, understanding, a better assessment of the European peace plan? And uh, are you confident it will it will succeed? And what will the U.S. do if it fails? Well, we support these efforts, as the Secretary himself has said, and I think as the President conveyed yesterday. Uh, we can't predict what will come out of tomorrow. There are a range of parties uh, that we work closely in lockstep with. There are a range of parties where we have disagreements with, uh, including uh, the Russians. We will be coordinating closely and tracking closely uh, what happens tomorrow. I don't think we know either that there will be a conclusion, because they've had ongoing discussions and meetings over the course of the last several days. Since you gave me the opportunity, let me just convey that we're very concerned about the reports of increased violence in Ukraine, which is not conducive to a peaceful resolution to this conflict, particularly on the eve of proposed diplomatic discussions at the initiative of France and Germany aimed at de-escalating the conflict. In addition to continued Russia-backed separatist assaults in and around Dvaltseva, rocket attacks on the Ukrainian government-controlled towns town of Kramatorsk have reportedly killed seven people and injured more than 20. We call on Russia and the separatists it backs to halt the fighting, implement their commitments under the Minsk agreements, and fully engage in the proposed trilateral contact group talks in Minsk. This is the best path forward. As President Obama said yesterday, we encourage a diplomatic resolution, resolution but we will not allow the borders of Europe to be redrawn at the barrel of a gun. Did you have another question on Ukraine? Yeah, again, Go ahead. If, if the summit fails, as, as many observers and even officials believe, uh, will the U.S. immediately uh, proceed with, with its plan to, to deliver uh, defensive weapons? Well, one, there hasn't been a decision made uh, to provide defensive weapons, as the President stated yesterday and the Secretary stated just two days ago. Uh, obviously, uh, the situation on the ground, uh, increasing violence uh, and uh, the unwillingness of Russians and Russian-backed separatists to um, abide by and implement the Minsk protocols, of which is the basis uh, for the, the, the ongoing discussions now, uh, has resulted in uh, discussions uh, internally and, and certainly with our partners around the world about what the appropriate steps are, whether that's assistance or uh, additional consequences. And I expect uh, that would continue if there is no result uh, from these uh, discussions. Did you mean lethal weapons rather than defensive or defensive lethal weapons? Well, uh, we, they're defensive weapons. When people say they're lethal, we think that's a misunderstanding or a misnomer uh, on what they actually are. They're helping Ukraine defend themselves. But the point is you've given them defensive weapons in the past, correct? Well, I, Or defensive I think items in the defensive past. Defensive items, Got but it. we're okay. talking about something slightly different. Yep. Got it. Yeah. So that? Oh, wait, uh,